Dr Emily Blackwell and I have discovered what Max gets up to when Nancy and Alex go out. Now they want to see for themselves what he does. OK. Straight to the lead. <laughs> that's all making sense. Sometimes you come back and your chair's gone down. All that's falling down, the lead's on the floor. As if anyone's there to take him for a walk. Mm. He's not happy at all, though, is he? Do you do this for the whole hour? On and off. When Nancy and Alex go out, they leave Max in the living room with the radio on for company. So that's pretty much it. <laughs> You're right. It is emotional watching this stuff. Yeah, I, I feel really guilty about leaving him, having seen that, to be honest. It is really important for you to see the behaviour to understand the problem. It's become clear that Max will howl for as long as it takes to get Nancy and Alex home. And because they do always return, he thinks his howling is working. Now, you've never seen what goes on behind closed doors, no. Oscar? No. no. OK. Is this real time? This is as soon as we've done. Has he started straight away? Oh, oh, oh. oh I don't know, actually, I'm going to get upset now. I'm sorry, but I am actually going to get... Sorry. Just... No, listen, it's, it's very upsetting to watch when you haven't seen it before. Yeah. I mean, I know he does howl because we're told, but it's just sad. I think for tissue. <laughs> it's always hard to ask you to watch this stuff. Mm. It is it is tough to watch. Are you all right to ca yeah, carry yeah, on? Yeah. yeah. Well, we know he goes on that chair, don't we? You we just, discover that. Yeah. We always find the cushion pressed right. down. So. <laughs> He's not allowed on the furniture. <laughs> That's where we mm. normally sit in the evening, so he's obviously gone into the room where he's most familiar with us. <coughs> well, a poor little thing looking out the window. So presumably, whenever we go out, be it for five minutes or two hours... This is what he he's does. He's just not settled at yeah. all. Yeah. He must be exhausted. And it's not just this survey that you're helping us with. You've been sending us videos and uploading footage of your own dog's behaviour. And around the same time, this video was uploaded to YouTube. It shows a dog named Bandit making an extraordinary attempt to escape from being home alone. It's been viewed by nearly 8 million people around the world. So could we use the internet and technology to help transform the lives of lonely dogs? 
Over the course of two weeks, we filmed Bruno when he was left home alone. Sometimes he was confined to the kitchen. On other occasions, he was given the run of the house. I've asked Dr Emily Blackwell, a leading dog behaviourist, to analyse the footage and we're going to show it to Alicia. So this is where you went out when he wasn't expecting you to go. He's got a hell of a voice on him, <laughs> Bruno. Inside that very big dog is a very small dog yeah, who kind of needs his mum. Bruno has a set pacing routine, taking in the hall first, then the sitting room, then the kitchen, then back to the front door before starting again. Oh, it's just he can't relax, can he? Love him. It's, I mean, if he's doing that all day, he must be exhausted. He doesn't ever eat when he's left mm. alone, does he? That's, that's quite typical. Bruno is never left longer than three hours. He goes for three walks a day, yet within minutes of Alicia leaving, he's defecated. Just how quick he went, like the toileting, it's obviously it's, it's like anxiety, isn't it? Straight away, I just, I just can't believe it. it was just so quick. He just went to the toilet, like you know, and he'd been out just before. And yeah, is that what you imagined was going on? Um, I know, I know he's been howling because people have told me, but it's just different seeing it. It's not nice, and just like how he's chewing the door, it's like really trying to get out and get back to me, or what I don't know what you know.